Hello folks, this is a video on how to repair a pet water fountain. This is a pet main. And as you can see, it has stopped working. Now ordinarily, um, we would have tossed this one and bought a new one. This is Dev the Magic Wonder Cat and he's wondering why his fountain isn't working. So I want to show you today a very very cool secret trick. It's not really that secret. However, some people don't know about it. And I'm going to show you how to fix that problem when the water stops running there is a way and it's going to cost you all of a dollar maybe if that much the solution is in vinegar which today we've got apple cider vinegar so in just a few moments I'm going to show you how to do this be right back okay I am back now what I've done already is I've um, I've taken this unit apart but basically this is what you do you take the unit apart the top comes off easy and you take this off and this part here is a little bit difficult okay make sure the unit is unplugged you do not want this plug so make sure you unplug your unit now we're going to take this pump here and we're going to remove it and as you can see this is um, a 12 volt low voltage fountain pump okay and this top comes off we're going to take the top of this off and you can do this with a knife of sorts just gently So I've got the top off and we're going to take the motor out and again you can use a knife or a flathead Phillips if you have that around. It doesn't really take much. Okay, let that piece go. Okay. So here we are. We've got the top off. And we've got we've we've taken the secondary piece off. Okay, let's put that somewhere safe. And we've got this here too. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run some water through here. And what happens with these cat fountains, these cat fountains, is that the tap water, the water that comes through here, tends to build up a calcium residue of sorts. It tends to build up a calcium residue. 
So in order to clean the residue out of this, and I think this this thing can come out too. Let's try and take that one out. And you can take this out with a knife or a flat, a flat head. Oops, I dropped that. I think it'll be okay. Now, if you see in here, you can kind of see some buildup here. And we're going to go in and we're going to clean that. Ooh, that looks kind of nasty. Okay. And we're going to clean that with some apple cider vinegar. That's right. And we're going to run the water for about 10 minutes. Okay, I've got the vinegar ready. Okay, I have the vinegar ready now. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to pour that vinegar right in there. And as you can see, I don't know if you're able to see this, but I guess the lighting isn't all that great. But some of those pieces there, you see some of those pieces floating in there? They're, they've come out immediately as soon as I've poured that in there. Okay. So I poured that in there. We're going to let that set for a few moments. It doesn't take long. There, look at that. Presto. Now we're going to just rinse it. Okay, and our job is done. Now all there needs to do is rinse out your pet bowl. A few drops of dishwashing liquid. Now don't put any dishwashing liquid or any kind of um, soapy stuff in your motor. The only thing you want to put there is vinegar. Okay, we are almost done. Rinse the bottom. Okay. So let's put this bad boy back together. If we can. Haha. <laughs> okay. Here we go. We got this piece here. This little propeller. And we're going to stick it right back. Like so. There. And then this top. Make sure you have this end here where the uh, tube is. Okay. Now the. Oh, what is that? Okay. Let's that. This is calcium buildup, you see, and this is something that you'll have to do to clean this, to clean off the calcium buildup, especially inside, at least once a month, if not more. And then we're going to put this back. Now, the two, uh, I mean, the three sticky squeegees go to the bottom of the unit like so okay press that down and it'll stay there you have this 
grill uh, filter type thing. Goes down like this, so okay. And then this fits on the top. This is kind of a pain to uh, to really. Looks like we need to clean this out. So. This is a, a pain in the neck to really put together. You see how this isn't lined up. So I will be right back. I'm going to need both hands for this. Okay, I forgot to put this piece back on there. So make sure that you put all your pieces back together. And this piece goes on top like so. You just press it down and that's it. And then of course the casing back in here now the reason this piece is uh, difficult to put back on a lot of times is because this here make sure that you push this down so that you won't have any trouble assembling your headphone That's upside down, of course. So, this goes in like so. And then we will put this back together. There. Okay, now you'll want to put your filters in here. Right now, uh, I don't have the filters, but make sure that your unit is filled with water before you turn it back on. So we're going to fill this with water. All right, and that's it. This should be good to go. There you go. So let's try it out. Okay, we are going to plug this baby in, and hopefully, now make sure that you uh, your plug is dry in the uh, event of uh, cleaning this. Don't want to get electrocuted. So we're going to plug this in and let's see. Is it working? Yes! <laughs> so I've just saved you if you were thinking of buying a new uh, a new fountain because you thought your fountain was broken I've probably saved you what sixty seventy eighty dollars so um, it, when your fountain stops working all of a sudden you get some uh, vinegar and open up your unit it's very easy you don't really need any tools other than 
uh, maybe a flathead or just a basic uh, kitchen knife and that's it so um, good luck with that I hope this helped you uh, help someone you'll have to do this uh, at least once a month I have three cats here so this is about every two to three weeks and um, it's pretty easy and it's uh, a lifesaver really time and money so good luck and uh, thanks for watching oh and by the way Dev and of course Tig Tig over here they're pretty happy with their water fountain being back on track isn't that right say hi <laughs>